Testing Zone Authority and the Federal University of Petroleum Resources Air Forum. In the meantime, Atiku Abubakar, the 2023 People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, has accused President Bola Tinubu of violating the law by submitting forged certificates to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Atiku argued that Tinubu should have been disqualified from the election, citing the importance of his reputation and future societal example. He urged that, or argued rather, that a simple check on Tinubu's past records would have shown that the, he broke the law and should not have been allowed to contest the election. Atiku had previously appealed Tinubu's decision to the Supreme Court. We showed incontrovertible evidence that Bola A. Tinubu was not qualified to contest the presidential election because he forged the qualifying academic certificate which he submitted to INEC. In fact, a simple check on Tinibu's past records in his possession would have shown INEC that Tinibu broke the law and should not have been allowed to contest the election in the first place. We show irrefutable evidence of gross irregularities, violence, and manipulations during the elections. We showed incontrovertible evidence that INEC violated the Electoral Act and deliberately sabotaged its own publicly announced processes and procedures in order to illegally declare Tinubu elected. The position of the Supreme Court, even though final, leaves so much unanswered. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.